Hey guys, good evening, good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> what are you doing, guys? Happy Thursday. Very well. All right, nice to hear that. Hi, Arnoldo. Gabby, good evening as well. How are you guys? How is your Thursday going? Is everything okay? Everything all right? Are you working? Are you home? I guess they are working. Okay. Okay, guys. So, well, Christian, <laughs> thank you so much for joining. It's super nice to have you today. Uh, I'm sorry. Se escucha mi voz. Can you listen to me? Es que está lloviendo bastante fuerte. It's raining kind of heavily here, so I'm not sure. Pero si se logra escuchar, can you hear me? Yes, I listen to you. Okay, very nice. Thanks a lot. If I'm breaking, please let me know, because uh, uh, it's kind of hard. It's kind of strong here. Um, Gabby, how you doing? I think she's not here. Okay. That's all right. Okay, so let's get started, Christian. Uh, I hope you had a very nice day. Um, teníamos tarea, right? We had like some homework assignment, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, uh, I finished my homework, uh, ah. but where uh, I can send you. Oh, yeah, I think WhatsApp is okay. So I can listen to it later after classes and I can give you some feedback too. So in, in WhatsApp, it would be okay. Uh, in the group of WhatsApp. Um, if you feel more comfortable, no. Uh, do it in the side chat. So envíemelo solo a mí. So send it just to me. Um, uh, I, I think it, it can be easier. Uh, so I'm the one who is in the, in the group saying hello, you know, ready, all those things. So uh -huh, you can send it over to me. Um, uh, so by the end of the class, I will go ahead and check that out. Uh, Noemi, good evening. How are you? Good evening, Miss. I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing great. Thanks, God. I'm doing I'm so great, I guess. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry? Uh, I'm so tired. Why? I was, I was uh, so hard day because I have I I had a lot of difficulties for my work and, oh. and, I, and I am a little bit stressed. Oh I'm sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry to hear that you're stressed yeah. out. Well I have one activity today uh, to get us started with classes. But probably la va a estresar más. Oh, just kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> so probably it is, no. Not, it is not going to stress you out. No, hopefully no. <laughs> okay. Then. No, you know, the idea of, of the activities <laughs> is not to stress you out, but like the opposite, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, I know. Sometimes uh, we are not having the best days, but hopefully everything will be all right. And tomorrow is Friday, you know, so the last day of the week, so you gotta count. Yeah. Uh, so guys, uh, mientras el resto nos acompañan here, I have a little exercise for you. Uh, and this is a tongue twister, right? Uh, so I don't know if you are familiar with tongue twisters. I don't know if you have ever practiced uh, some tongue twisters before. But this is the one I have. Uh, so a tongue twister is like the boy, right? So an activity or something where you need to repeat some sounds in English um, to try to say them the fastest you can. So in Spanish, we have Pablito clavo un clavito, right? We have another one, guys. Which ones do you know? El Obispo de Constantinopla, I think. Do you know any other? Tres tristes tigres. Ah, yes. Tres tristes tigres. <laughs> that is a little difficult to, uh, it's difficult for me to say it. Okay. Exactly. So we have like different uh, tongue twisters here. 
so um, this is the one we have right here, right? Um, it is, it looks kind of long, but to be honest, um, it is not that long because it is only repetition. So let me just like the same, but the other way around. So let me read it first for you. And then we practice it together, right? Uh, guys, I guess I lo puede. Do you know this one? Uh, have you ever practiced this one? No. No, no. you're not familiar no, with it. No, oh, okay, okay. So what about you, Noemi? Are you familiar with this one? Uh, I, the, mm -hmm. Have I you seen this before? Listen before. <laughs> but oh, okay. I never... I never practice. <laughs> oh, okay. Kenya, good evening. Judy, good evening. Um, so okay, no worries. So this is your time to shine. <laughs> Hi, okay. Evening. Hello, guys. Hello, girls. It's really cool to see you here. Okay, so um, it is not quite difficult. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's practice this one. So let me read it. Then we practice it together. It says, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? That is the slow version. <laughs> okay, so guys, let's Love say it together. Teacher. Hello, Miss. How you doing? How are you, Judy? I'm fine, teacher. Lo puedo decir? Yes, of course. Oh, definitely, yes. But let's practice it together first, right? So, practiquemos, uh, practiquemos this one just a little bit. And then... Um, we go over the rest of it. Uh, so guys, read with me line number one. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Picked a peck. Peter Piper. Picked a peck. Of pickled peppers. Of pickled peppers. There you go. Andrea, hello. One more time, guys. One more time. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Pickled peppers. There you go, guys. You can repeat as well. So one more time. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Very good. Okay. I just listened to Christian, but I'm pretty sure that you are repeating at home. Let's go with a second sentence. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. 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 Yes, perfect. There you go. One more time. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. 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 Okay, there you picked. go. Exactly, exactly. Judy, you can open your microphone if you feel that way. Angelica, good evening. Andrea, hello. Hi, Imelda. Great to have you. So we are practicing right now this little tongue twister. Uh, so let's continue here. Uh, uh, um, okay, we are in line number two. Let's go with the third sentence. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper pick a pick of pickled peppers. And the last part says, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Picked. Picked. Yeah, there you go. Very nice, Christian. Good job. <laughs> okay, crazy, right? Well, I I heard that uh, Judy was ready for this one. I uh, know me, girls. I don't know if you're ready. Oh, Christian, you're the only boy besides Arnaldo who is here. Okay. So uh, the idea of a tongue twister, right, is to say it lo más rápido que podamos, the fastest you can, 
pero siempre uh, que se me entienda what I'm trying to read. Let me read it one more time and then I'm going to give you some time para que ustedes lo puedan practicar too. So it says, uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? And that's it. <laughs> so obviously, uh, I memorized this already. So as we were saying about the uh, Los Tres Tristes Tires, right? We normally memorize them. But of course, it is going to take a little while so we can do that today. So let's practice this a little bit. All right, let's practice. Um, uh, I'm going to turn off my microphone so you can practice um, this alone and we can have some of you um, you know, reading it for us. Guys, solamente ayúdenme con este sonido, please. This one is picked. Con una P al final. Picked. 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 Okay, very good. Ahora, como es un tongue twister, una de las características es que uno sonidos. Entonces, voy a unir picked y luego voy a unirlo con la A. Pero como el último sonido fue T, so picked. Y luego A, picked, picked. Peter, pa Peter Piper picked a, picked a. So picta. guys, repeat with me. Picked. Picked. A. A. Picked. A. Picked. A. Peter Piper picked a. Peter, Peter Piper, Piper picked a. There you go. So that is a linking sound. So estamos uniendo uh, los sonidos. Teacher, uh -huh. teacher, I have a question. Dígame. What El... mean a pick in Spanish? Uh -huh. Okay, oh, this is very interesting. Una de las características de los tongue twisters es que no importa lo que digan. <laughs> Pretty much, no tienen sentido. They don't make sense. But uh, in this case, a peck, creo que esa es la palabra that you mean, like a peck es como un puñado, right? A peck of pickled peppers. Está hablando que re, uh, como que agarra yeah, o sostiene un, un puñado, puñado de, de pepinillos uh -huh, or de pepinillos encurtidos or de encurtido but mm, no hay como mayor significado to this uh, mm -hmm. so la idea es que son sonidos bien similares so guys, uh, one more time we have picked up El siguiente, la siguiente link que tenemos es pick, a pick y tenemos esta palabra que es of no of but of, of. A peck of, oh. a peck of, a peck of, que les vibre un poco, right? A peck of, mm -hmm. a peck of. Uh, again, here, a peck of, a peck a of pickled peppers, Peter Pico. Piper picked, and the rest, as you saw, is super fast, so let me remember, picked up, and peck of, and there you go. Guys, uh, I'll give you three minutes, les voy a dar tres minutitos para que puedan practicar el ton twister on your own and then we are going to have some of you uh, read it for us you know trying to say it si tienen dificultades con algún sonido let me know and we do it together Margarita welcome good evening great to see you Angelica I'm super glad to see you here Iris hello girl nice to see you as well so there we go, guys. You got three minutes to practice this.
Thank you, Christian. I got it. So I already got it. Um, let me see. I think somebody just came in. Hi, Rafa. Good evening. How are you guys? Guys, sigue lloviendo en sus casas? Is it still raining? Hi, teacher. Good Hello. Evening. Good evening. Is it raining still? In my home, a little. A little bit? Okay. It's guys, falling a little rain. Uh -huh, guys, nadie vive como en las zonas eh, donde hay alerta naranja. San Salvador, que creo que es de las más afectadas. Does anybody live in San Salvador? No. I live in, in San Salvador. Yes, But, I um, live in San Salvador. You live in San Salvador. Guys, uh, está fuerte? Is it like, like this? I don't know. They say that it's kind of dangerous. So, si ¿sí está muy feo? In my home, no. In this moment, no, teacher. Okay, because um, I saw like a lot of uh, accidents, I would say, like fallen uh, trees and a lot of things. So, but, but is everything okay? Like in your houses? Um, my only problem is I exit uh, a lot of hauling in the in the streets there is a lot of holes yeah mm, you mean kind of batches yeah uh because of the because of the rain i suppose okay guys alguien tiene la invitación um Uh, ¿Alguien tiene la invitación de la clase eh, que nos la pueda compartir en el grupo, please? Um, I think Adolfo is... Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, so if you have just uh, joined the session, uh, creo que solo Adolfo is out. Um, uh, let me remind you, let me refresh here. The activity that we are doing is just practicing the tongue twister on your own, right? So what you see on my screen is the activity that we are supposed to do. So um, we are going to try to say the tongue twister lo más rápido que podamos. Es un poquito largo, but es lo mismo. It is just repetition of sounds. Um, and here, if you take a look, tenemos uh, two uh, light blue stripes or lines that represent linking sounds. We have the word picked in past, right? Remember that, le agregamos una T. So picked, and then we have A. Entonces unimos el sonido. So picked, right? Then we have peck, pero comienza la siguiente con vocal. So we put it together to picked, a, uh, picked, uh, and then peck. Pekov. So this is what the one we have. Guys, let me read it one more time for you. Y luego ustedes me ayudan, please. Uh, trying to... Trying... And then uh, let me have you, like, repeat this one. 
So it says, uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? And that's it. Uh, by the way, hay una canción, there is a song, in case you want to look for that one. It's like, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. But it's so fast. <laughs> okay, so guys, volunteers, who wants to go for it? Remember, es a su propia velocidad, but trying to say it uh, a little bit faster. Hey, I see Arnoldo. Creo que escuché Kenya's voice, I believe. So, or Andreas, I'm not sure. Girls, no sé por qué confundo sus voces. <laughs> Arnoldo, let's go with you, and then I'll go with Kenya and Andrea, both of them. <laughs> Just in case. Well, Arnoldo, say, uh, uh, open your mic. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked? Hey, amazing. Very good. That was really good. Really good pronunciation and very good uh, um, speed or fluency. Too. Very nice. Uh, Kenya, I, I'm not sure if that was you, but let's do it. <laughs> Hello, I think that Hello. was Judy, but oh. let's go. <laughs> Peter okay. Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, mm -hmm. where's the peck of pickled peppers, Piper, Peter Piper picked? Hello. Hello. Don't I say the the tongues? How do you say thumbs? Thumbs quick. Thumbs quick. Hello. 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 Somebody Hello. listen to me. Hello, oh, good I'm, evening. I'm, I'm sorry. Give me one second. I think something is okay. Me lo can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes I can hear. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh creo que algo le pasó a mi computadora. I think something's wrong with my computer. And los empecé a escuchar like super, super uh, frozen. Uh, so um that was Kenya, I think. So we were halfway and then just no la logré escuchar bien. I couldn't listen to you, um, you know, up to the end. So if you can be so kind to, to finish this reading. Sorry, guys. Voy a parar mi camarita un momento mientras mi computadora, you know, vuelve a la vida here. Uh, so I am from my phone. Eh, Adolfo, eh, welcome. I'm super glad to see you here. Carlos, Hello. welcome, guys. Espero que están super bien. Daniel, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Thanks. ¿Cómo están, guys? How you doing? No se han mojado, no Night. les ha caído la lluvia. No. No, 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 no. no. Uh, I, okay. was, I was driving during the rain. Oh, so it is raining. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, but but everything good, everything is good. So, espero yeah. que le haya ido todo bien. I hope everything was good in the process. Okay, guys. So, uh, can you please, si me puede ayudar one more time, eh, con el little tongue twister we have here. Luego veo la mano de Judy, too. So, Judy, you can help me after Kenya. Okay, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled, pe a pickled peppers. Mm -hmm. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where the peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. I mean, that sounds really cool. That sounds really, really nice. I liked it a lot. That was good, Kenya. 
Ok, Judy, Judy, tiene un gran challenge ahorita que es That was Arnoldo first, Kenya second, and it's your story. You can do it, girl. Go for it. Ok, Peter Piper picks a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If mm -hmm. Peter Piper picks a pick of pickled peppers, mm -hmm. where's the pick of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Wow, that was really good. Judy, amazing job. Very good presentation. Okay, guys, uh, next one. Necesito que lo digan más rápido. <laughs> so the three, um, the three guys who have done it, lo han hecho super bien. You have done it like perfectly. <laughs> so can you do it a little bit faster? Yeah. Who goes yeah. for that? Okay, okay, Miss, I try. Yes, Andrea, you can do it. Okay. <laughs> so the fastest you can go, girl. <laughs> okay. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers. Peter, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Wow, that was super cool. Good job. No, that was really good. Really good. Job. No, but you know, you know, a pesar que sí lo hizo, like, super yeah, yeah. fast, sí se comprende. So it, it was really easy to identify sounds. So very nice job. Who wants to go next? One more person? Nobody? Uh, I... I can try. Perfect, Christian. Yes, of can course. Give it a try. No, yes, of course. Why not? But uh, first, I can pick a pick of pickled peppers, a pick of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pick of pickled peppers, where's the pick of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick? Ah, uh, that sounds really good. Sounds quite nice. Just one word here. This word is a peck. A peck. So, uh, yeah, Peter Piper picked a peck. Pick a peck so, picked a peck. Mm -hmm. pick yes. A peck. Can, can you try to say it one more time? Yes, Peter Piper picked a peck. Picked a peck. Uh huh. Picked a peck. Picked a peck. Picked a peck. Picked a peck. That's the one. Picked a peck. Picked a peck. Can you try to say one more time? Can you go for it one more time, Christian? Peter Piper. Pick a pack of pickled peppers. A mm -hmm. pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If mm -hmm. Peter, Peter Piper pick a pick of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers? Peter, Peter, Peter Piper pick. Okay, very <laughs> nice. You did a very good job. I guess it is the first time you saw it, so it was good. Only I think uh, you missed this one that is pepper, right? But yes, Perfect. that was really nice. That was good. Okay, guys. Good job. Good pronunciation here. Now, um, we do have to move on a little bit with the next activity. Um, and we are going to be working with some vocabulary that we have still missing here. And remember that this unit is about marketing, a, a little bit of advertising and things like those. So um, we have been checking a couple of words, but today uh, we, I have some new for you. So I have product design after sales services, brand features that you know what it is, and product positioning. So um, the activity says match the words or expressions to their meaning. Guys, I'll give you one minute. Can you try to match the words that we have right here with the correct definition, please? So one minute, I think it's enough. Some of the facilities, they are quite easy. So one minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first ones with the first one. After brand, design uh, to create a new product to be sold by a business to its customers. Uh, 
Yes, yes. Oh, uh, 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 something going on with the internet connection. Okay, so um, the product design, what do we have here, guys? Uh, the process of creating an image or a product in the mind of the consumer, I think you already said it. What is the number? Number five, product positioning. Product positioning, do you have something else? Do you agree that this is um, number five, the process of creating an image of a product? Yes, the number five. Number five, okay, I'm gonna write it here and then we check if it is uh, like something similar you have or something different. So let's go with number next. The use of a name, term, symbol, or design to give a product a unique mm, mm, identity in the market. What is this? Number three. Brand. 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 Number three. No, it's, num oh. it's number four, I think so. Number four, features. The first oh. one. For me, it's number three. This one, number three. Number Brand. three. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. The use of a name, a term, symbol, or design to give a product a unique identity in the market. Let's use number three and then we compare it as, as we go all the way down. Characteristics of a product. Oh, characteristics. What is this? Number four. Number four. Excellent. That is features. Exactly. So remember the characteristics are traits or features. Next one, to create a new product to be sold by a business to its customers. What is this? Number one. Design. Number one. Product design. Design. Number one, product design. Very good. Yeah. And then the, the last one, but not the least, the health, um, the health and information that is provided to customers after they have bought a particular product. What would that after be? Sales, sales. Service. After service. sale service. Exactly. Um, do you have an idea about the after sale services? Because it says the health and information that is provided after they have bought a particular product. Um, so for what product do you normally get after sale services? It's the customer service. Customer service? Okay. In, yeah. my in my case, when I buy a laundry machine, okay. I, 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 I buy a, a warranty. It, ah, it, okay. In, in, the next, in the next month, it's time, it's time to, how say, to, uh, to, re to request this service. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. So you buy yep. uh, like an extra guarantee, right? Okay. Yes, yes. Nice, exactly. Or sometimes when you don't know how to use a product, right? So you yeah, ask them right. like, okay, what do I do here? <laughs> so <laughs> that happened to me. I don't remember what I bought, but I didn't know how to use it. So I had to call, you know what? I cannot turn this on. And they told me about the process and everything. As you said, customer service and extra guarantee. So yeah, that would work. Okay. And I think we got like all the most important words from here. So give me a second. And let's move on. Que rara me escucho la voz here. It's recording. Sorry, this is giving me some issues. So let me just move on to the next. There we go. Okay, so mm -mm, this is another one. Let's go. Okay, um, if you remember, um, uh, here. okay, so let's take a look at exercise number seven, and there we go. Label the examples of elements found in a product strategy uh, using the questions in the box. So Give me one sec. Give me one 
second. Okay. So if you take a look here at the bottom, we have like some strategies that companies use. Like we build the quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. Um, they are, they, we sell our product through a retail channel. So these are strategies. But here we have a couple of questions that are related to a strategy. So we have to label these. We have to kind of match, right? The, the questions we have with the corresponding description of the value. So we have here, mm -hmm. how will you distribute your product? Who are you selling the product to? What value do you provide your customer? Uh, what are you selling? And how will you price your product? So let's match mm -hmm. them, guys. Let's use the ones that we have in the box with the corresponding elements or the corresponding examples we have at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Number one, two, three, four. Number two, 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 two. Guys, ¿a alguien más le está dando problemas al internet? Creo que veo que Adolfo is having some difficulties. Uh, guys, se les está quebrando su internet. Or is it working fine? Uh, uh, me, no, teacher. Your internet is fine. It's working yes, fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think, I think it's yeah. the, by, by the rain, I don't know. Yeah, I thought. I am, so. I am here again. Because oh, okay. the, the, the rain have a electrical, okay, electrical uh, storm. Like it. Oh, okay. It's like a know. thunderstorm. Mm -hmm. Thunder, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, that may be. Yeah, it's que, it's que de la okay, computadora se escucho like, but, but super, super frozen. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming back. So hopefully we are able to have the full session. Okay, guys, so um, hagamos el ejercicio juntos, please. Let's do the exercise together because we still have a couple of things to do. Y quiero que trabajemos un poquito en la parte de fluency uh, today. And uh, we gathered also general vocabulary, not only business vocabulary. So um, let's take a look at number one. Here we have, we sell quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. According to the questions we have in the box, which do you think is related to number one? What, what are, are you selling? You selling? What are you selling? Very what nice. Are you what selling? are you selling? Exactly. Number two, our customers are young North American families who want kitchen hardware that can stand the wear and tear of young children. What is that? Who are you selling to? Who are you selling to? Excellent. Who are you selling to? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Three, 
they are interested in materials that are safe for children and eco-friendly. What, what value, value do you provide, do you provide your customers? Oh, oh, very what good. What value do you provide your customers? Very nice. So eco-friendly and safe, exactly. Number four, we sell our products through a retail channel. How will you distribute your product? Excellent. There we go. And number five, our products uh, are priced per unit and are considered high-end hardware solution. How will you price How will you your price your product? How will you price, right? How will you yeah. price your product? Exactly. You our product is priced. Okay. Yeah. Very good, guys. Very, very nice. Yes. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Um, what what is the mean of uh, high M? Consider okay. high M. Uh, our products are priced for units and are considered high end hardware solution. Like mm -hmm. um, like whenever you buy one of these products. Um, it's our it premium is, products. Uh -huh, it is like super good quality. Um, mm. that you don't need anything else, uh, that you're going mm. to have it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, or uh, as, oh, uh, uh, the best to the best, I don't know. Different kind of the best, it's exactly, the best exactly. The yes, uh, Christian yeah. said a word that is premium, so yeah, like, mm -hmm. like super good quality. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, thank let you. Me, let me see if there is another word that we can use for that. Um, mm -mm. no, mm -hmm. but that would be considered kind of gamma alpha, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for that, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but, okay. but, but, but I don't find another uh, synonym for this. So let me just make sure that we don't have a, another we, word. We, we, uh, we can say in the cell phone, the high end is the uh, iPhone. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh, high mm -hmm. quality. We can high use quality, the word yeah. high quality or we can mm -hmm. use the word uh, luxurious or no, luxurious. we can use yeah. the word sophisticated. Mm -hmm. okay. So okay. those are like some synonyms we can use. Okay. okay. There Perfect. we go. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, guys, I have just one uh, more exercise related to uh, this business vocabulary, and then we go ahead into a speaking practice. So here we have, uh, recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies of a famous national product or service. And uh, here we have a really big problem. <laughs> guys, what are some national products? Can you tell me a product that is Salvadorian, but not like, not, not something that is American exported to El Salvador or imported to El Salvador, but something truly like Salvadorian? I, I, I think. Okay, pupusas. Uh, yeah, I think the product of Diana, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, so Diana, we got one. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, I, I just get on point. Gourmet coffee. Gourmet coffee. Gourmet coffee. Gourmet coffee. Okay, so gourmet coffee. From a taco. Yeah. Could be. Okay, okay. Any other product that is like truly Salvadorian? So you said Diana. Pollo Campero, right? Pollo Campero. Mm -hmm. Pollo Campero. Rico Café. Campero de Guatemala. Campero is Guatemala. Yes. Yes. Original. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. The, the, the original, yes. But is the best quantity, I think, in my personal opinion, is the, the, the best flavor is El Salvador versus Guatemala. But it is Guatemala. I didn't know. Okay. Sí, yeah, yeah. Es yeah. What about Don Boyer? <laughs> is that Salvadorian? No, Don, Campestre is. Campestre y Salvadorian. Okay, Salvadorian. Don Pollo is the same of is, is the Campero, uh, right? Is yeah, the cheaper it, version it, it, of Pollo Campero. Yeah, cheaper <laughs> version. Yes, cheaper. So the same line of business. Guys, tenemos algo que sea Salvadorian. Buffalo <laughs> Campestre. Wings. 
Y es a Salvadorian franchise. But com Campestre, uh, somebody said that is from Honduras. Uh, no, 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 Campestre Salvadorian. Okay, Salvadorian. Salvadorian. It's from San Miguel. San Miguel. Musulután. Musulután. Ah, Musulután. Ah, Son, oh, son Pollo, Re Pollo Real. Pollo Bonanza Pollo también. Real. Pollo Bonanza, mm, ok. Yeah. Ok, anything else that is Salvadorian? Uh, Buffalo Wings is a Salvadorian okay. franchise. Oh, they are good. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, besides food, <laughs> do we have anything else? <laughs> Hay algo más que ser salvadoreño, guys. Cortar. San Jack. Eh, en customer ah, industry de San Jack. Ok. Es el for for the family. Ok, so San Jack. Uh -huh. um, uh, hush puppies. Hush puppies. Shoes. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm not sure if they are salvadorian. Guys, what about like Unilever products? Uh, Colgate and all of them, are they salvadorian? Do you know? No. No, they're not. Okay. They are manufactured in other countries. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. the distribution is, <laughs> the distribution is, is in the level. Is in the level. Uh, uh, okay. So, it is a retail, kind of a retail store. Um, the, um, I don't know. Is no, uh, that wouldn't be a retail. Brand, that is a wholesale. Hanks brand. Mm -hmm. The factory no. is here. The factory is here, but not but the but the brand is in use brand. I don't yes. Okay. So yes. how do you spell mm -hmm. that? How you? Hey, how do you spell that? Ah, this it's export to the other country. Uh, but it is H E I. H A N. I-S, Haynes. Okay. Uh, Haynes, yes, Haynes brand. H-A-N-I-S. Um, that is, yeah, that is an American company. American company, yes. Uh -huh, yeah, that's an American the, company. The factory is here, but uh, all, the product, all the production is export. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so it is just mm -hmm. a manufacturing. Okay, I mm -hmm. found a couple of products, but I thought that probably they were Salvadorian, but as you are saying, probably not. They are artesanias. I don't know who they say, artesanias. Handcraft. So, Handcraft. So, Cojotepeque, mm -hmm. I think. Milo Vasco, ah, sorry. Okay, yes, that can be Salvadorian. Some people come to El Salvador and they explore this product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in, I don't know, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, the Palacio de Inglaterra, oh. okay. the palace, yes, the palace, eh, ellos Just tienen palace. una vasija que es de Hilo Vasco, wow, really? es, es, de, ah. es de la reina, mm -hmm. that's eso no la sabía yo, eh. eso es new for me, a Salvadorian product is there. Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, guys, I got a couple of things here, but I'm not completely sure because supposedly they were some Salvadorian companies, uh, but I think this list is wrong. Uh, this one said the best companies uh, uh, back in 2020, you know, that are the best places to work. But uh, I have, for example, Crecer as a Suiza. I don't know if they are Salvadorian or if you don't, if you know more about it, tell us. Colombian. Colombian. Okay. Banco Agricola is from Colombia. Agricola, yeah, right. So Agricola yeah. is not mm -hmm. Salvadorian anymore. Mm -hmm. I have here some American call center like the office guru. It's like I got a dog, uh, but I'm not sure if a dog is still Salvadorian. Yeah, yes, Salvador, yes, Salvador, yes, yes, yes. Okay. I got Kimberly Clark. Uh, but uh, yes. I think the manufacturing is here, right? Yes. I have Hugo, so I don't know if Hugo operates in other countries. Yes, yes. But yeah, the I I I I think that the creators are Salvadorian. 
Mm. Okay, good. But they good. they live and grow up in USA. Okay, okay, but still they they are Salvadorian. <laughs> okay, super <laughs> nice. Here we have Agrisal. Uh, are you familiar with this yeah. group? Uh, Agrisal, yes, it's, it's, it's the same Mesa, Señor Mesa, yeah. Because there are mm -hmm. some companies, right? In in Agrisal. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a group of companies. Yes, they, I don't remember. Liman is a Salvadorian company. Principalmente es a, it? a, en, en creación de, ¿cómo es? Uh, en bienes raíces. Oh, oh. so mm -hmm. they get real yeah. tours. Yeah, real estate. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So real mm -hmm. estate industry mm -hmm. or real tours. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Dicen que anteriormente era dueño de la constancia, la vendió y ya quedó, se quedó con. ¿En dónde qué Magrisal? Yes. McCormick okay. is, is a Salvadorian company. McCormick, the number five. Oh, number okay. Five. So McCormick. All right. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do have McCormick here. We have Velcro, that Bell as Corp. I understand is a combination of. I think, uh, yes, it's a combination. Avon. Mm -hmm. Um, what's the other one? The number what? six, La Cañada, is, is Salvadorian. The yes. Salvadorian, okay. Yes, yes. And yes. then we have others like Term, Term Termo, Incogibles, exactly. Yes. And it's a couple Salvador. more, we have Casa, etc. Guys, trabajado en alguna de ellas? have you ever worked in any of these companies? No, never. No. Yo no. Yo no. <laughs> Nobody in the bank? He trabajado con ellos, no o para ellos. No para ellos. No, no para ellos. Pero, pero, pero los he visitado, los he visitado. Oh, okay. <laughs> visit Eso okay. cuenta. Okay. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I think I have just worked, I worked for sites like okay. 10 years ago. So that was a long time ago. But that is not Salvadorian, okay. definitely. So that is mm. uh, an outsourcing, so it's different. Okay. okay, so guys, this thingy right here, or this activity, is related to that one. It says recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies. Obviously, la vamos a cambiar un poquito because we are not in marketing, but we do have a couple of ideas on how different products are promoted. So let's take a look at the conversation we have right here. It says, Sophia is discussing some ideas about the place to distribute her products. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. So, um, can I please have two volunteers? Angelica, thank you so much. <laughs> so, Angelica, I you going to Sophia, please? Help me with Sophia. And uh, let me see. Who else, guys? I recuerdo que dejé alguien con la intención de colaborarnos, but I think that was Adolfo, but I, I don't know if Adolfo has internet issues. So, Christian, please, are you there with Arnold? Help Arnold. me with this person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like store to sell them. Mm -hmm. I think the place is actually relevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? Um, you could sell your training course online. People are always using their phones to search the web and learn and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking site and create enough interest in the course so that people will buy them. Okay, very will nice. Buy them. Mm -hmm. We'll buy them exactly. So, guys, this is about like selling some training courses, and the recommendation is selling them online. Guys, we yesterday and uh, the days before we were talking about influencers creating your YouTube channel, etc. Imagine I tell you, hey guys, I want to sell my English classes. Um, so, how do you think I can sell them? The person here says, I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store 
in my case, I'm not sure if I have if I should have an office or a school, right, uh, to teach English classes. What is your recommendation in regard to in regards to my case? Do you think it is better online or it is better it is better like presential classes? What do you think? Mm, for this time, it's it's rela relation. ¿Cómo es relacionado? Related de, to related, related to situation about COVID nineteen. I I rec my recommendation is you can you can use the, the, the social networking to okay. to create. You can you can you can sell the access to you to your classes. Okay. It, it can be via Zoom, via another another uh, another type of platform. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. So it should be online, and not mm -hmm. only with COVID, right? But also with with the la nueva yeah. guys, the new one. Um, oh my God, la del mundo. I think it is the the one that is coming right now. Chicken pox, monkey chicken pox, okay. or monkey. Uh, I'm not sure. So, yeah, like a lot of things are going on. So, probably mm -hmm. that can be a really good recommendation. The person here is recommending something very similar, right? People are always using their phones so they can learn new things. So, Cuando cree mi Duolingo 2.0, I will let you know. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. In, like... in fact, teacher, in fact, uh, in, in, in Instagram, mm. I, I, I have... I it's found, a good option. Uh, yeah, it's a good option. I, I, I found uh, a lot of people of, uh, to, to tell... Yes, yes. Uh, giving tips, giving some tips. English. Yes, yes. I'm saying in English. In yeah. Instagram. In, in Instagram, yes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. many, so many. There are many mm -hmm. options. Well, now, because everybody has access to internet, I think everybody um, is like, what? Languages are easier for you to get. So, yes. Uh, but you know, yeah. I don't know you guys, but I am super old school. Yo todavía necesito ver a la persona que me regaña, you know? <laughs> so I learn better if a person is teaching me. How do you feel about it? Do, do you feel more comfortable in one on one, like face to face interaction, or this way in um, online interaction? I think personal in, yeah. uh, in it's better in by interaction. Face to face. In my case, I prefer maybe uh, face to face. Okay, you prefer face to face. All right, Noemi, I'm sorry. Uh, you were saying? Yes, I prefer face to face because uh, I think um, I put. Uh, more attention maybe mm, okay okay that's yeah. right mm. and and because we are in our houses right si mm. algo se mueve, we turn around Pasa un auto, we turn around if you have babies it's even more difficult so there are a lot of distractors too that is for sure mm. okay so that's why all right guys vamos a trabajar un poquito today uh with these equations uh, because i want to develop some speaking practice with you today so part of the questions uh we started yesterday but we didn't we couldn't complete them all right because of the time so i want to make sure that i give you enough time today so we can discuss them especially like i used to talk about the last movie so because you need to add more information guys vamos a trabajar with vocabulary too so les voy a pedir que nuevas palabras that you don't know how to say uh, that you don't know how to express them, right? Las vayan escribiendo, write them down in your group. Si alguien las sabe, yeah. amazing, se pueden compartir. But si no, las busquen rapidito y escribanlas, please, para by the end of today's class, yeah. hacer una lista de palabras nuevas, too, and we can share them as well. So uh, remember that the part of the questions we had yesterday were 
tell your partner about a time something good happened to you, uh, about a time something terrible happened to you. We said yesterday, esto es bien sensible. So, si no se sienten cómodos, it's okay. Pueden cambiarla. You can talk about your friend. You can talk about a family member. Um, algo que no sea como muy, I don't know, uh, personal. So that is okay. Uh, tell your partner about the last movie you saw. Now you have something else to talk about. And give some tips on how to save money. I'm pretty sure that en la parte de movie van a surgir muchas cosas. Recordemos que es pasado, right? And we need to make changes in all the verbs in past. So, uh, para practicar esta parte, guys, vamos a hacer grupos. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que intenten decir tanta información como puedan. As much information as you can. And then voy a rotarlos. I'm going to rotate you para que puedan hablar con más personas, right? So you can talk to more people, different people there. Um, and then vamos a intentar contar qué fue lo que los compañeros dijeron. Because I really want to... Vamos a utilizar también un poquito de... Eh, reporter speech para contar qué me dijo esta persona o qué me dijo el otro compañero, right? So, um, the questions are the same, guys. Son las mismas del día de ayer. Just try to give more information. Toda la que puedan, please. All the information you can. Y no se les olvide hacer una lista de vocabulario de palabras nuevas. Too. So, cinco minutos, guys, y luego los roto. Five minutes and we will be rotating. So, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Si alguien tiene dificultades entrando al grupo, let me know, please, so I can switch you. So let's go, let's go, let's go.
Hello, I have a problem again. Hi, Adolfo. No, this is going.
Already, guys. Uh, guys, ¿me escuchan doble? ¿Se me escucha no, echo? No, no, okay. teacher. no, no. It's normal. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Thank you so much for the confirmation. Guys, that was a very, a very good practice. Uh, I'm like super happy um, because in this kind of activity, siento que se sueltan un poquito más, that you try to give your opinions, you try to give your ideas. Um, now, antes de continuar, I would like to know, si hay like vocabulario que anotaron, did you take notes of any word or something that you had forgotten, something that you need some refresher? For example, um, I want to add one that is character, right? Remember the character, no solamente hablamos de personalidad, sino que cuando hablamos in number three about your last movie, hablamos yeah. de protagonistas. So we need to use the word character to refer to protagonista or to talk about the people who acted in a movie. ¿Qué más encontraron? What did you find? Or what did you get? New vocabulary, guys. Uh, Pinchy Punk. <laughs> Which one? Uh, bonus. Bonus Christmas. Okay. Bon Christmas. Bonus, yes. bonus Christmas or Aguinaldo. Ah, the Christmas bonus. Yes. Christmas bonus. Christmas bonus. Okay. Yes. Christmas no bonus. sabía cómo se bonus. decía Aguinaldo. Aguinaldo, okay. Ahora no you know. Ahora lo aprendí. Nice, I'm glad. I'm glad you learned something new. Okay, so yes, that is a Christmas bonus. ¿Qué más? Yeah. Like, yeah, hay un par de palabras like um, cuando... Pitch bank. Oh, a piggy bank. <laughs> piggy one? bank. A, this one? A piggy bank? <laughs> yeah. Una chantilla? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A piggy bank. ¿Qué más, guys? What did you get? New words, oh. new vocabulary, anything else? Scarlett, Noemi, did you get anything? Kenya, Imelda? Um, I talk about uh, history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the, uh, at the airport. For example, history, I think mm -hmm. so. Okay, okay. That's yeah. all right. So you got the um, kind of a history to tell us. Okay, good night, guys. Anything else? Teacher. Dígame, Christian, uh, tell me. Hooker is a bad word. Um, depends. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Um, depende, I would say, del país. Because, eh, si se puede considerar como un gancho, right? Eh, cuando hablamos de ropa, por ejemplo. Pero yeah. eso sería in UK. In America, es un hanger. Pero eh, en América, eh, esa sí es una, no es una mala, well, I don't know. No sé si es considerada una mala palabra. I would say no. Pero el detalle es lo que implica, you know, being a hooker, que es como alguien que trabaja eh, con su cuerpo, right? Literalmente. So, uh -huh. so is, no es que is, la palabra sea mala. That's not a good word. The, what is the word? What is the ah, word? Ay, ay, sí, right? <laughs> no, no, okay. ¿cuál, es la ¿cuál es la palabra que está preguntando Christian? A, a hooker. Ah, hooker. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. I got... so no es una mala, <laughs> it's not a good yeah. word. You know, look implica, you know, that what I, 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 I asked to him mm, about what? the about the uh, <laughs> a girl who, that I met in uh, in the airport. Mm, okay. mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not a word, it's not like what the word implies, and that not It's not. It's not polite. Seida. Lo que sucede es que creo que tenemos una sociedad muy viciada, you know, and yeah. uh, como muy conservadora. And when you listen to the words, like, oh my God, ¿de qué estamos hablando? ¿Por qué estamos hablando así? Uh, yeah. entonces, no es que sea una mala palabra, sino que creería que culturalmente no es una palabra que la digamos abiertamente. I think yeah. that, that is the point. No, es que, bueno, se va a ir feo, pero en las películas uh, este tipo de, de mujeres pues respectivamente uh -huh. le dicen bitch no, pero uh, si yo okay. quisiera okay. suavizar eh, okay. that is palabra, offensive ok, let me let me make sure the, a little bit woman, ahora, que, ahora que you bring that up de hecho, la palabra bitch no es una mala palabra it's not about words and it is not offensive you know 
por ejemplo, um, in, you, um, in American culture, uh, si son como mis super mejores amigas, acá usamos palabras bastante fuertes para llamar a nuestros amigos, right? Y ustedes ya lo saben. Eh, <laughs> and I'm not going to say that. Hey, mira, yes. en, y la palabra, right? Con uh -huh. inicial, yes. esta inicial, la otra. Ok. So, bitch. Es como una expresión para llamar a alguien con la que tengas súper mucha, mucha confianza. confianza. En, oh. No necesariamente implico, you know, algo malo. So, yeah. um, también yo puedo decir, oh, I am so bitchy. Y no es que yo me esté categorizando como algo muy malo, you know. Mm -hmm. Si no es como yeah. alguien que sea bitch, es alguien con muy mala okay. actitud, mm -hmm. puede ser una muy mala persona, um, alguien con muy malos sentimientos. So le puedo decir, oh, she's a bitch. ¿Qué es una palabra? Soy fuerte, un hijo de pero no, es, pero no, 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 no. No, es una mala palabra, pero es muy fuerte, I would say. So, okay. no necesariamente implica lo mismo. Ajá, it doesn't refer to the same. Dígame, Rafa. Depende del contexto en que la yeah. pueda decir. Definitely. Porque si okay. le digo, um, for example, here in El Salvador, retomamos mucho Spanglish, I have to say. So, uh -huh. a algunos de mis amigos es como, hey, bitch, right? Pero no en un mal plan, no en una forma despectiva, sino como, hey, mira, mejor amigo, pero fuerte. <ríe> so, that is the point. So, eso no necesariamente implica un trabajo, right? So, solamente es una forma de llamarle a alguien. Uh, creo que alguien lo dijo como, perro, let's say, pero, I don't know how to say it. Not a bad word, pero sí es muy fuerte. So that is the point. Pero okay. eh, hooker sí es como el, la forma de, uh, de llamarle a alguien que trabaja, you know, con su cuerpo. So that's the difference. Mm. I got it. Okay. También puede que escuchen la palabra bitchy. So bitchy es como alguien con muy mala personalidad o alguien muy mala, right? Al, puede ser un hombre o una mujer, pero muy, muy malo. So that's why, you know, just to, to give you some categories. But moving away de las malas palabras, anything else, guys, <laughs> that you got here. Uh, hay otra palabra that you got that you didn't know how to say. It? No, okay. So let me go no. over here. So no, at the moment. Here to give like the roundabout here. Um, so, uh, tenemos eh, character, right? Again, no es personalidad, sino que son protagonistas, personajes. Yeah. Bonus, or Christmas bonus that our <laughs> Daniel and most of us, ya sabemos también que es un aguinaldo. Hay muchas palabras that we don't really know how to say them. Eh, tenemos Piggy Bank, right? Que es una alcancí, alcancía, alcancía, alcancilla. Alcancilla, alcancilla. with alcancilla. double L. Okay, uh, that's a Piggy Bank. <laughs> so, alcancilla, I don't know how to call it. And um, hay una cosita solamente con esas dos palabras, history and story. A veces se pueden utilizar ambas, but sometimes, mm. si es algo que involucra o que tiene un peso mucho más fuerte, le llamamos history. Algo que mm. nos marca, right? Puede ser a nivel de país, a nivel personal, that is a history. Y si es algo bien casual que nos pasó, oh, tengo una oh. historia que contarte. I have a story to tell you. A menos mm. que nos marque, a okay. menos que eso es súper importante, that will be history. I have okay. an observation. It's yes. alcancía without double L. Ah, okay. Thank you so much for the clarification. So I can see ya. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Creo que español Sorry. es muy difícil. No, no worries. I, I still don't know, you know, what's the, way, <laughs> the best way to pronounce them. Okay, guys. Vamos a terminar el día de hora con un ejercicio de pronunciación. So we have a little bit of a rhythm today. Give me one sec. And uh, the exercise is this one. And it says, Um, read them. Read each sentence and circle the words that have the same sound. So, uh, you know that in English, tenemos un par de expresiones que tienen el mismo sonido, right? So, here we have like two different sentences y vamos a encontrar palabras que ritmen, uh, that rhyme, okay, words that rhyme. So, can you help me with the first part? Yes, Rafa? What? So, con la primera oración, with the first one we have right here. ¿Qué palabras es... ritman? Which words rhyme? Ah, oh, yeah. Small ball and the wall. Okay. Small. Small. Small or ball and wall. Which of them? 
A small world. Small okay. world. Boil and boil. Okay, small boil and wool. Actually, the three of them. Okay, what about the next sentence? It says here the boys are okay. This one, which boys word rhyme? Boys, boys, boys and toys. Boys and toys. Uh, boys. Boys and and toys. toys. <laughs> okay, what about the next one? This one right here. Skirt, skirt and shirts. Skirt and shirts. Girl, a skirt, skirt and shirts. Skirt. Okay, girls, skirts, skirts, and shirts. Skirts. Skirts. The three Teacher, of um, what is what is the mean of skirt? Means like um, a shoe. Falda no, no, no. y camisa. Yes, a skirt out of falda. <laughs> so ah, okay. girls wear a skirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Next one, guys. Uh, this one. Fish and dish. Fish and dish. Easy, right? Fish and dish. Okay. What about next? Got a coat. Goat and coat. Okay. It's a coat. Yeah. And goat. Goat. Coat. Goat. Okay. Remember, es el mismo sonido. Okay. Next. Mouse. 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 Okay. Mouse. Oh. House. 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 Okay, very good. House. What about next? Uh, excuse me. The, the, the is a mouse or there is a mouse? I que me comí el there. Sorry. Me va a que I know it y lo iba a mencionar. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes. Okay. Creería que me comí el there is. Okay. What about this one, guys? Um, the next Fox. one. Fox. Fox and yeah. rocks. Rob. Fox and robots and rats. And rats. Fox, okay, fox. very good. Next one. Man, 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 man. and band. Man, man and band. Man and band. Man and band. Okay, band. Man. 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 And this one. Man. 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 Man, exactly. Man. So, band and man. El plural si es man, right? So, but this man. is man. Man, band. Man, uh -huh. man. And the plural is man. Okay. Man, man, band. Man, man, exactly. Man. Okay, man. next one. Next, next, next. Frog, frog and log. Frog, log. Frog and log. Okay. Uh, what is next. log? Log what meaning? is like a piece of wood, for example. Charcoal. When... No. A log is no, it's a, no, no. It's a um, piece of wood. A piece of wood, yes. Ah, okay. Um, I don't know how to. I don't have anything here. So, yeah. for example, it's a kind of a kind a of a kind of branch. Yes, kind of ah. a kind of branch. For example, okay. when you have a tree and you yeah. have the tree, El you have little pieces of wood, exactly. Yeah. So a log yeah. is como un Trozo eso. A, a piece of try. wood. A piece of wood. Thanks. So that is log. Okay. The children. Uh, what about next one? This. Like, like, bike. Like, bike. Bike. Mm -hmm. like, bike. Very good. Next. New and blue. Um, this. I know. Beer and hair. Beer and hair. Beer and hair. Long and brown. Beer, beer, hair. Beer, hair. Beer, hair. Bear, 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 Brown, brown. They don't brown. really match. Okay. What's Bear. the other one? Bear. 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 Yes. Bear and so her. 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 Okay. Okay. That will be the thing. And Bear. next one? Cat. 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 And mat. 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 Fat and mat. Cat. Mat. Mat. Okay. Cat. 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 Mat. Mat. Hay una más. Cat. Cat. Yes. Cat. Okay. Guys, uh, pronounce the first. Cat. 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 The next one? Cat. Cat. 
Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Cat. Mad. Mad. Exactly. Mad. Okay. Very good. Next one, guys. Casi terminamos. We are almost done here. New and blue. Very good. New and blue. New okay. Blue. And next one. Oh, yo creo que me comí una letra here. What do you have in here? <laughs> men, men, men y hen. Ah, very good. Men and men. hen. Exactly. So that a man have got a red hen. Okay. Uh, next one. Rock, low, and dog. Rock, love, love, dog. Very good. Next one. Fight, right. Fight, kite. White, kite, right. Mm -hmm. right. White, right. 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 And right. Yes, yes. Kind of, they have the same sound. Y la última, guys, is... Nose, toes. Snow, no, 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 Very good, very good. And the last one. What can we do? Do and so. Yeah. What can we do? Can we go to the zoo? Exactly. They have. organ how to. I think we don't have as many. Okay, guys, very good job. So pretty much, <clears throat> sorry, that would be it for the day. Uh, that was like a very nice uh, rhyme practice. And guys, solamente a little reminder, Kristen, gracias por el audio. I already got it. Eh, um, Margarita, ya voy a escuchar el suyo. Rafa, creo que ya me lo mandó, right? I think you sent it today. O creo que yep. todavía no, right? Send it to me. Send it to me whenever you're ready. Okay, and I'm gonna keep an eye um in that part. So guys, uh, thanks a lot for staying. I'll be seeing you tomorrow and have a really good night. Uh, Judy, si me puedo regalar un poco. Oh, no, with Judy we are good. So okay, guys, let me see I if it. I got. No. I already got your. I already got your picture because my computer is still frozen. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good, bye. 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 good bye. night. Blessings. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.